As many of you are likely already well aware, President Trump was taken to the Walter Reed Military Hospital just this past Saturday. Now, according to the White House, the president was taken for routine exams and labs. However, the mainstream media is full of conspiracy theories about what actually happened. One of those theories, well, according to this article on newsbusters.com, NBC News speculated that Trump went to the hospital to deal with heart problems. But it doesn't stop there. Check out what the Inquisitor had to say on theinquisitor.com. Hospital visit means Donald Trump will resign for health reasons. Get pardon from Mike Pence, says Pundit. But what really happened? Is there any inside sources that can give us a hint or a clue? Or was it literally just a routine exam? Well, Mike Adams over at Natural News has some information on that. Take a look at this article on naturalnews.com. Exclusive, President Trump makes unscheduled stop at military hospital to undergo battery of test for possible deliberate poisoning of food with time delayed chemical agent. Food tester gravely ill, White House connected source. Here's another on infowars.com. White House source, Trump made unexpected hospital visit to test for intentional poisoning. Food tester was first rushed to the hospital and doctors believe there was an exposure to time delayed poison. The article goes on, an inside source says President Trump's food taster became ill after ingesting an unnamed substance, which is why the president made a surprise hospital visit on Saturday. In an official statement, the White House said President Trump visited the Walter Reed Military Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland for a quick exam and labs. The hospital visit was not listed on the president's public schedule, according to media outlets, which indicate that the visit was not a physical routine exam. Additionally, the the inside source said his food taster was rushed to the facility after becoming extremely ill. Doctors and staff reportedly found the byproduct of a type of toxin that's very hard to detect and has time delayed onset of symptoms. Additionally, the toxin is a newer concoction that's not typically tested for since it's well known according to the source. The president was later taken to the same facility where a battery of tests were performed to assess whether he had ingested the same toxin. There is an ongoing investigation into the matter. That article states that White House sources have leaked this information to both Alex Jones and Mike Adams. You see, the truth is, a lot of information that Alex Jones has talked about has come to fruition in the past. This is why maybe we should pay attention to some of the stuff that he is stating. On another note, what is the president actually saying happened? Take a look at his tweet on his Twitter page that he tweeted out on Saturday. Visited a great family of a young man under major surgery at the amazing Walter Reed Medical Center. Those are truly some of the best doctors anywhere in the world. Also began phase one of my yearly physical. Everything very good, great, will complete next year. According to the president, it was just a routine exam. However, if there really was an assassination attempt on the president's life via food poisoning, would he even be able to make it public, especially if the investigation was still ongoing? Well, that's a question that we need to address. Either way, don't pay attention to the mainstream media liars like NBC, who's trying to say he has some kind of heart issue, because time and time again, they twist and make up stories to their benefit. Anyhow, Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you think? Was President Trump, was there an assassination attempt on his life? Or was it just a routine exam? I'd love to hear your comments and concerns. And please don't forget to check out my partner at hidewithlisa.com. Right now, they've got Black Friday specials of 40% off their VPN. Please make sure you have a VPN. Do not search the internet without it because you are risking all your personal information getting uh, copied through a system uh, of Google system and being put at risk. So check it out at hidewithlisa.com and get secure today. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.